Mitchell Sanger will start most likely the next game for Stetson, wherever that might be, today or tomorrow. And a good start for Perkins. Drops the hammer curve. And the Brule out there at second. And that is called strike three. On three pitches, Armstrong never gets his bat off his shoulder. Both pitchers, Perkins and Santana, falling behind batters. This one hit hard and over the outstretched glove of Camacho and into right. And a one-out single by Spooner. Lifted in the air towards right, and that'll fall in for a base hit. Who's will score easily from second, and Stetson with two outs, able to put together. This one line to left field, base hit. Two, nothing Stetson. In the outfield. Three, two. This one lifted into the left center field gap. And that will roll all the way to the base of the wall. Hale with a stand-up double with one out here in the second. Because he went 0-2. Quite a bit for them at any stage. This one's lined down the right field line and in for a base hit. One run is in. They're going to wave a second run to the plate. Coast doesn't stop around second. And he will stand at third with a bases clearing triple. And now it's 4 nothing Hatters. Fernandez awaits the 1-2 for Perkins, struck him out. For Perkins, just his fourth strikeout, but... To throw somebody almost as good as their top two guys in the last game of the series. And that's just a luxury that you don't have in NCAA baseball very many seasons. If anything gets through the infield. This one popped up to center. It's going to be a long run. Samayan. They're going to send the runner, Fago. The throw is cut off by Camacho because it was up the line. And it's a sacrifice fly in an RBI. And it's back to a four-run lead at 5-1. to one. Seven. Two-two. Called strike three. Just never got the bat off of his shoulder. Two-one. Popped him up. Foul ground. Long run for someone. Is there going to be enough room? There is. Nice play by McNeil in foul territory in that Stetson dugout area, or bullpen area, excuse me. And Nishko, a check of the runner. The one, two. Swing and a miss. The left hander does his. Can Lahane come through? Bouncing ball, left side. Miola's going to go to the plate. They got the runner. Lifted in the air, left center field. That should play to run. Coast around first. He'll stop right there. It's an RBI single. And now it's a one-run ball game. Runner again on the move. Bouncing ball right side. Base hit. Coos is going to go to third. And he'll stand there easily. On a group. This one lifted in the air. Right center field. Coos will score. Pitch runner's going to go first to third. That's Murphy. And it's 8-8. Palmer from the stretch. Arenas, game over. Murphy will score. And Stetson, in dramatic fashion, wins it by a final of 9-8. Bryce. Baseball game overall, and then a crazy ninth inning there as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, just really two good teams inside sides. Some conference play, just getting after it, you know, and competing their butts off. Uh, quite honestly, um, you know, we talk all the time as a group about um, about egos, and uh, we talk about how we want to have egos. Might, people might tell you that you don't. I want these guys to think they're the best, but we always say that we got to check the egos at the door amongst our group and our family and our team. And this is completely on them. This is their ego coming out saying, we are not going to lose this game. Uh, we're going to find different ways to win. This is totally the players, how tight they are on this team, how tight they are in this dugout. It's been a joy to be around these guys. And, and uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to remember this one for, you know, the 24 hours. And, of course, I know these guys got lofty plans once the next one goes. But um, talking about grinding it out, um, 
you know, we got this thing called blue collar, we're blue collar, and we got to prove it every day. We just can't talk about it. And, and uh, these guys walk the walk today, I can tell you that. So um, found different ways. Guys got big hits. Perk pitched great. I mean, he had great stuff today. You know, uh, um, they're, a, they're a tremendous team. And, uh, you know, Brooksy's on fumes here and trying to get his save. And, and uh, you know, we made, a, we made an error um, that probably would have got it done. But, you know, somebody picked up the guy that made the error. That's how it goes with this team. So super proud of him. Um, I guess wow is the only way to say that. And so, you know, on to the guys. <laughs> Jack, we'll kind of maybe start from the beginning. You, you, were, you were out there. You had a lot of good things going for you. Only gave up one run there until the end. Uh, what was kind of working for you today? Um, we were just trying to pound the strike zone, and uh, it showed they were getting themselves out. So that was what that was the game plan for today. Yeah, for uh, Brooks, how do you I mean, after a rough start at the top of the ninth inning, you come back, you have to come to the plate. Um, how do you, you get you into you come from that to how you come play, making a pretty big hit for your team at a time like that? Um, you know, it really comes down to just. Being able to to flush what's happened in the past, um, you're not going to strike everybody out every time. So when things like that happen, you got to figure out a way to flush it and, and move on. And I know that you know I wasn't going to go back out for the next inning. So I say, okay, that that part of my job is done now. You know, it wasn't great, but you got to put it behind you. Now I have a different job to do. So I uh, almost struck myself out with two strikes, but <laughs> <laughs> ended up coming through with the hit there. Jacob and Eric, obviously you guys had big hits. Jacob, you had big hits throughout the game today. After a couple of rough days, maybe the last two, what was kind of your approach today? And obviously, must be thrilled to uh, make a contribution to the team. Um, yeah, it's been a rough start, but really was just trying to keep the same approach and staying aggressive. Just trying to impact the game however I can. Yeah, I mean, I've been seeing the ball well all day, and basically my job at my last at bat was no matter what, I was trying to get away, uh, get the runner in, whether it was a sack fly, or uh, not swinging a ball in the dirt for a pass ball, but I mean, we got the job done. And then obviously it comes down to Jorge and you in the ninth get that walk off hit. You know, was there anything you were looking for? With obviously they made a pitching change a couple of pl uh, players before you. Anything that you saw off Palmer, or what were you looking for in that at bat? We're just looking for a pitch in the zone. I know uh, we talk about it every day. All the pitching arms we see are just nothing we haven't seen before. So. We know we can handle it. Just looking for a pitch on the zone, looking to get a barrel on it, just finding a barrel. That's all. For you, Hari, here. Yep. What's the. You, you go behind two and stop thing, you cut five runs. What, what's the. I guess what's the emotion like and how are people. How do people get back to. You get the confidence back to where they're going to be expecting to win? Well, I mean, uh, that ninth inning, it, it took a turn for the worse, I would say, a worst case scenario, which is just that we're able to handle it. I think it's a select group of guys that can come together and pull that together. No one's blaming each other. I didn't go in the dugout. Nobody came up to me yelling at me. You know, everybody was just like, you got to come up big here. Everybody's rooting for each other. I think it's something that you can't teach. It's something that uh, you grow as a team. We've been around each other for a long time. There's something that clicks with this team, and uh, it, it just we always want to attack and go after what we can. Don't worry about the past, so. Excellent, thank you very much, guys.